right click on C drive, copy and paste to SSD. So this is how you migrate windows to another drive. Thanks for watching. Just kidding. If it were that easy, Bill Gates would be out of a job. But seriously, there is a real trick. Before we get into it, a quick disclaimer. This tutorial is specifically and only for moving windows from one drive to another on the same computer. If you're planning on transferring to a completely different device or computer, I strongly advise against it. Not only will you face hardware mismatches and driver conflicts, but a whole lot of headaches too. All right, so let's get you prepped first. Grab a new SSD or HDD, whichever you prefer, and a SATA cable if needed. As you can see, my C drive is running low on space. So your new disk, whether bigger or smaller, just make sure it has more free space than your C drive is currently using. And if it's a brand new disk, well, don't worry about doing anything. The tool I'm about to mention later will handle everything automatically. But if it's an old disk with important data, make sure to back it up because this process will wipe it off clean. Now, you can do this manually if you enjoy the thrill of potentially breaking your system, but I prefer using a simple, reliable, and hassle-free way. And for that, we're using Eza's Partition Master. Why risk it when Eza's can do all the heavy lifting for you? Download the tool from the link in the description below. Now let's get to the fun part, migrating windows. Once installed, you'll find the interface clean and easy to navigate, perfect for beginners. Now, whether you want to back up important files or migrate your system to a new hard drive, it's just a few simple steps away. In addition to Disk Clone, the software offers powerful partition management tools to help organize your storage, like the Disk Converter to switch between different disk formats based on your needs. You can also recover lost partitions with Partition Recovery. Plus, with bootable media, you can quickly create a boot disk to restore your system and we'll be focusing on the disk clone feature today. This process migrates the entire C drive, not just some system folders. And that's not how it works because a lot of data on the C drive is tied to the Windows OS and should be treated as a whole. So it's basically cloning the whole C drive. Here's how you do it. First, fire up ESA's Partition Master and click on Disk Clone. Then select Migrate OS, obviously, and this is my new SSD, so I'll pick this one as my destination. And then here comes a warning about data being erased on the target drive. And if you've already backed up your data, just hit yes. Review the disk layout and click start. This might take a while depending on how much data you've got and how fast your drives are, but please be patient and just don't touch anything while the magic happens. Once the migration is done, you might want to boot your PC from the new drive. And for that, all you have to do is restart your computer as soon as your screen goes black dive into the BIOS. This usually involves pressing a key like F2 or F12 or delete. And if you're not sure which key to press, your motherboard manual will tell you. Now find the boot menu and set your new SSD or HDD as the primary boot drive. Then all you have to do is save your changes and exit. If everything went smoothly and as per the plan, your PC should boot up from the new drive. It may seem that nothing has changed, but don't worry, you got the upgrade. And that's about it. You have successfully migrated Windows to another drive using Ezo's Partition Master. Not only did we prep the new drive, we cloned the C drive and set up the PC to boot from the new disk. In case of any questions, drop them in the comment section below. We'll do our best to help you out. Until next time.